Hello, everybody. I think we're about ready to get started. Let me know, chat. I'm trying something new today with the recording, and I figured because we're in a bonus stream, chat would be able to tell me more rather before going into a very serious, like, RPG series. There's a new feature in OBS for toggling multiple quality settings. I'm assuming that it should be easier to watch the stream now. I'm kind of surprised. I, I guess my upload speed improved. I didn't think it would be able to handle 10 megabytes, but it seems to be doing fine at the moment. So I'm going to keep an eye on it, but let me know, chat. You should see more quality options, which should help. But anyway, uh, today we're just going to do a short stream for PSO as we listen to the ominous music, as Remote Battery says. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to focus on helping probably Marco get some items again while going for Heaven Striker and Galatine. I feel like that's a, a fair trade-off. I think most players would probably want something in that mix. Also, I very slightly boosted the PSO volume. B101 did drop, but not for me. Sorry to hear that, Marco. Let's switch into the game. I am not the right character. I need to remember... Okay, I'm remembering people's characters a little better. I need to remember section IDs. So I could potentially bring in a green ID. He bought it from me, though. Oh, okay, you did get it. Your four cookies richer now? Oh, no. Oh, there's quite a squad waiting here. Let's see, is anybody green ID? There is Marco. So Marco, if you don't mind hosting, I'm going to switch characters. Looking at the time, it's still technically even beat. Yeah, I might as well play Pew Pew Laser. I do want to level up the Raw Moral. This is a good excuse to do it. So I figured we'll do a few runs of that, just to say that we helped out, but apparently that got resolved between streams. So I guess with that out of the way, if we do four runs of this, then I guess we'll move on to whoever else needs an item. I'm kind of hoping for a Galatine, but I'll settle for Heaven Striker or honestly a Centurion ability. See how it goes, though. Marco will make, and it looks like Celeste and Kushina will be joining us. The Promethean could continue the pew pew. TBH says Murphy. And into. Well, I mean, that's what I'm saying, Murphy. No, we're not doing pod. No, 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 no. Uh, do, uh, ma do, uh, Massive Attack E. I was gonna say, that's the plan, Murphy. That's why I had green selected. So green technically is an off chance of Cannon Rouge. I've never seen Dorf on a Clara drop it, but I guess it would be a first time on stream. So if we do Massive Attack E, uh... I'm sorry, not the event E. Like, literally massive attack for stage E. Yeah. Because I, I want to do the normal boss run. So technically, Surface could, in theory, air quotes, have Cannon Rouge. I've never seen Dorf on a Claire drop it. Uh, but Underground, it'll have Pyro Goron as a Heaven Striker. Uh, off chance if you want to one, uh, both Surface and Underground. And then more importantly, Galatine or Centurion. I actually don't want to see Conjuru, but if I do see Conjuru... I hope to at least get Centurion, because that would technically be a buff for my Hue cast. But I'm going to come to a point where I no longer green ID. I'm getting close to that point, honestly. So many pew pews. drop from zoo that's brutal they get in the chat <laughs> that's just mean from the game holy that's just actually mean uh sir frosty asks for a striker unit should i go mst greater than power honestly i think from the standpoint of it i just say go both because if you're leveling a character it's more useful to have mst if you're looking, if you're in like the 180 plus region, then it only makes sense to do attack. 
Because you should be so close to MST cap, it shouldn't matter. I, I use a mixture of both. I'm using attack at the moment because my character materials are weird. But, uh, yeah. The Pew Pew laser only cares about laser damage. I do find power is somewhat useful, which is why I'm saying, like, as you get higher level, it's more useful to have power. Just because, like, killing a single zoo by yourself, it's more useful to be able to switch off into, like, a charge Vulcan. Or even do a power attack. You only ever have one, I get MST. Maybe. It just depends on who you're getting it for. My answer is if it's a fresh character below 180, then probably MST. If it's a character that's, like, anywhere near max level, then only attack. That would be my response. I would still recommend both. In theory, you could wield an MST striker. I have one in the bag. But I do think I do use the ATP occasionally. And my MST isn't super far off from cap anyway. Yeah, it's unfortunate. If there wasn't a cap, I would have just said MST all the time. But if you're, if you're, you, so I guess that also depends. So I'm using like the quote unquote character max stats. So I will have a decent amount of MST. So I'm more likely to hit my cap sooner. And you have to think about it this way. If all you really care about is MST damage, it's pretty easy as you get higher level to just take a heavenly ability or wear a centurion ability to cap stats. So you'll have the equivalency of, you know, a max MST character at like 190-ish. Like low one, if not like 185. Just due to the fact that you can stack it if you want. I'm using a heavenly ability, for example, and a centurion ability. And technically, I could get rid of Heavenly Arms and put another Century in to give myself more stats, while also keep on my accuracy up for the scenarios in which I would like to use ATP. Not required. Yeah, it's, it's some decent damage. Goodbye, Yowies. Look at me landing that Rivarda. So sick. But here I'm using ATP. Welcome in Parameter. Hope you're doing well. And yeah, we'll do a little short PSO stream until I have to get dinner. And then uh, we'll resume with uh, Chrono Cross in the evening. So no more PSO after. Or later today, I mean. But I guess I'll give an update on the guide. I ended up doing a lot of new sections, so I'm glad I waited a little bit. Not only for updating the items, but just even in general. I think my quest recommendations are a lot better. I have two more IDs to really kind of clean up. But I think I like the way I have it listed now. Where I think there's kind of a good section to do honorable mentions. I definitely want to make sure in the guide that I'm devaluing Ubers. Because I feel like people see like, oh, it's it's rare, it must be good. And no, most of them are like actual garbage. Oh, why didn't I revive there? That was weird. Find out Ultimate Doom Builder. Nice, nice. I had moons, I think I just didn't walk close enough. I flicked the stick in my defense. A rip Promethean. There we go, chat. Are we finally going to see Dorf on a player today? Kids, watch the stream. Talking about control sticks. Kill the zoo. ATP is better than laser. Let's level up. And now I think I could get away with a Centurion. 
which in turn would boost my MST higher and also ATP. So I should be at max stats. If I if I literally just do triple Centurion, I should be at max stats on everything. Important, which is kind of nice. I don't really need a cure unit or anything else, so I'm kind of okay with that. And obviously, the higher level I get, the less I need the stats. up some slots. Four door fawns actually getting straight up murdered. Yeah, kind of like when it comes down to those individual dwarf ones as well, it's better for me to shoot. Because I could get two lasers worth of damage if I crit, or I get like 20% of a laser if I don't. And I, I'm not going to miss the shot, so I might as well just go for it. It can matter, depending on who's with you. Oh. The Promethean. Yeah, the other point where ATP matters, we're going to be dealing with Marissa's, and we don't have anybody that really good Bowie stacks. So, Marissa's are going to be pretty awful for this group. We're going to be very dependent on a Freeze Trap dealing with them. So, pretty much this, the second that we kill the Zoos, we're going to need a Freeze Trap if we want to do any damage. But we'll be coming up to the Zoo Wave in a moment. Otherwise, it's potentially low ATP female rangers attempting to deal with Zoo, which is terrible. In fact, I might even start Kapoe stacking here just to get some damage out. Alright, that helps a little bit. Yeah. This is why I was thinking about going Force at first, but I really should just play this character to level them more. After that, it should be mostly smooth. I got you that time for me, Dan. We'll do two more runs of this, and we'll uh, move on, I think. Or Gertabulu. I know there's going to be two Gorn detonators to the bottom left, two in the upper right. So we'll do our best to stun them. Oh, I only froze one. Fortunately, it's also going to be Marissa's in the middle. It's going to be our worst series of waves. Oh, nice free strap. Good free strap. That saved a lot of time. Oh, out of range. Lots 
of photon crystals being found. Not bad. And after this, if there's any hunt somebody's looking for in particular, we'll have about an hour or so for that hunt. And we'll probably wrap up with more TTF. I managed to get uh, Antares Convoy slash Chris from this Twitch chat, a red ring earlier. Also, I realized I, I think I was on mute when I asked earlier. Hopefully you're feeling better, Black Spidey. Saw that uh, your wrist was still bothering you. But thank you again for the lure. Yeah, th I, th I think I was on mute because I was kind of like in the middle of uh, moving stuff. But anyway, onwards with the murder. Say Promethean is basically instantly dead against this boss. I, I don't even know if you could survive the spinners, to be honest. You're definitely not surviving missile or laser. If you were to wear exactly two heavenly HPs, you would not die to laser. Get out of here, satellite lizard. Oh boy. Glad you're doing good. That's so little damage. I was gonna say I was so worried for a second there. I thought I was gonna do lyrics. Just super sore. Hmm. Yeah, hopefully you give your wrist a rest. Recovery is important. At least I'm feeling at this point that this character would be able to do reasonably well in Seabed or Tower if I take him there. the credit music basically playing as we kill everything. Oof. Dude died, and then another enemy died, and it gave me a Justine. The bait. Goodbye, Yaoi. By the way, this Gurdabulu is so hosed. Just actually dead. Oh, is this is this the true ending song again? It must have played backwards. I'm gonna advance it because I know there's dialogue at some point. I don't really want to hear the dialogue talking about the true runes. Alright, so I think of the group. Marco can potentially stay behind. If Marco has a cannon rouge in theory, they could help. 
But I think I'm gonna need probably Machina slash Murphy to go with me. Because you just need enough HP, which is like 900 something, to survive. Alright, so we're gonna get a chance at Galatine. That's good, I want Galatine. And I like to use ATP on this phase versus laser. Laser, I can QP laser. Oh, really? I couldn't fit between there. Boing. Actually, wait a minute. I forgot. My, if I don't deliver it, that won't work. QP laser is actually better here. Ah. Get the orange one. That should give a decent amount of time. I like that we're at 340,000 experience, by the way. Like, the XP in this quest is just so silly. That's a good level up quest for other things, regardless. Yeah, I don't think today we're gonna do that many anniversary quests, unless somebody's looking for something specifically from there. It's just a short stream, anyway. Wednesday is more likely to have some of those. the desync. Um, that shouldn't ever happen. I think that's just a position issue. If you mean that the health total gets out of the way, they literally do the same damage to all parts. So if you're only using normals, that shouldn't ever happen. Unless you just miss time. It's good to learn to practice that. For now, I don't need it though. As long as I have somebody assisting. That spinner almost trolled me again. That almost made me shoot them out of sync. I hate the spinners so much. Go away, spinners. You're the worst. It's just something you gotta practice. Get out of here. Almost timed that right. It was close. I got the heal, thank you. No, you didn't kill the last part. You you ran away too soon. So sad. I got one shot on it. Okay, so I'm gonna take some damage here. On boss, go to the next phase. You've been dead for like 20 seconds. Thank you. <laughs> Just like. There we go. Might as well use it. It built me meter. It'd be funny if it knocked me down. Please knock me down. Oh, not quite. Oh, somebody got it. Hey, somebody can move door in the cutscene now. I think it's Promethean. They can even heal themselves. Let's see if they have the jiggle hair, though. Oh, no, I don't think they do. That's a shame. Pew, pew, pew. Welcome, Minus X. Hope you're doing well. Nope, no Galatine. 463,000 experience. Wow. Is a good way to level. Then yeah, we'll do two more, and then we'll switch up the quest. The least I can say today, I went for Galatine, Heaven Striker, off chance V101. <laughs> Ultra off chance cannon rouge. I have never seen Dorfana Clara ever drop this drop. It would be an actual stream and real life first if this ever dropped anything. Despite doing like probably a thousand something green ID runs, start to finish with uh, three different characters. Don't feel like that's much of an exaggeration. 
I mean, at one point, I basically leveled the Fomar from... 85 or so to, like, almost 180. Almost every single one of those quests was that, just by itself. Let alone doing that on other IDs. I so rarely see Dwarf on a clear. I think I've seen, like, maybe less than 20 in my entire time of playing PSO. Maybe even less than 15. Like, outside of the quest that literally spawns them guaranteed, I don't usually do them. <laughs> 1 in 500. Mine's supposed to be 1 in, one in infinity, because I'm never seeing it. Only see a clears on junk rare IDs. Something like that. I don't think we've seen one this event so far. We've seen like four Pazuzus, like four Del Rappies comparatively. Only seen eclairs and donut boxes. Accurate. Sounds like my SJS Downer, level 180 and 140 draw from PW442. That's oof. Yeah, my Hughcast gained about 25 levels from doing box hunt resets. And that afforded him the uh, accuracy boosting shield. And now he's probably my strongest and also probably my top three favorite characters. I do actually like the Hughcast a lot. There we go. Streamer gameplay. There you go. 10 out of 10. Block all view of the game. Just stand in front of the rock. That is not my fire spell. On crits. Nope, no crit. Yeah, but ex episode four gives so much experience. I don't know. Th that that's not anywhere near the scale as like a PW four reset or like a box run. 20 is pretty tame. I've gained like probably 80, 90 levels just on uh boss rush. And bees, I mean that's how I level my old character. Managed to find a Heaven Striker, says Minus X. No, not, but still fun as heck. Managed to get a max out of his well. Just level 72 now, I guess. I think what's the ideal stat plan for Heaven Striker mag for 180 solo Real Marl if I want to make it? Uh. Someone's asking. Uh, we were talking about this earlier. Somebody else asked. It depends on what level your Real Marl is. You said 180 solo Romaro. I probably just do ATP at that point. That way, if you want to use it when you're like 190 plus, if you're not planning on making another Romaro, I think you should just make it MST base. I don't have the plan for the MST one. I could just go to my share bank later. I'm not using it at the moment because I prefer ATP. Yeah, that sounds about right. I think it is 135. I know it's I know it's not 140 for sure. It's like it's like 20 or so power or something like that, and the rest is MSD. Fifty-six death. Sounds kinda high. 
One more, one more world doesn't really need it. Unless you're trying to get like early usage. Something like that. I'm just gonna rebuff people. I'll double check mine though. I know it's a weird number. I don't know if it. Yeah, like I, I was gonna say that that deck seems kind of high for it. I don't usually level with Pew Pew though, so I don't think that really helps most of the stuff that I do on stream. But it is an interesting way to take it. If there's a spot I can look it up, I'll go look. I don't think it's really written anywhere. I don't think I put that in any of my guides. I think I just did like a generic one, not in like a mind-based one. I keep forgetting my button is different for Gafoe. I really should change it. That's not twice I've been hit because I didn't know which button it was. It keeps fluctuating between the 5th and 6th slot. I don't really want a rough Bowie. I was gonna say, if you wait till after the run, I'll show you the one I have. And they already gave stats for uh, theirs. How to level it, I'm not sure. I I've only leveled one once, and I did not write down the plan. Or slash save it. Everything else I just bought. I'm like, I'm not leveling this again. This is dumb. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I don't really want to do downtime mag feeding. I barely feed the mag as is. I have like a lot of leftover mags that are unfinished from when I did that on uh, back when my Fomar was uh, red ID. He used to have a uh, Ramar green ID and then him red ID finish things up. They shared it earlier. I'll put it on screen a bit longer. The so Murphy's using a 5456135. Ah, I'm just gonna manually use the Kafoe button rather than use my controller. I was gonna say to no one's surprise, no dwarf on a clear. Poor Promethean, he doesn't have enough HP to survive a hit. Although with that, he I think he does now. That level up mattered. <laughs> Slowly getting out of Goron Detonator crit range as well. I think one of my uh, morals has a mind mag, and then I have one that's floating. One that's floating, I think, is helpful. Use. Oh, that works. 
works. Thank you, ATP. Oh, not only was I being lasered. Okay, somebody please hit the other zoo. Come on, come on. Killing me. So unfair. I was trying to hit the Rappies, but I was getting hit by the other zoo. And then I somebody spooked the Rappies because they ran at 1 HP. Unfortunate. By Marissa. Dry fluid. The mine material. Oh, I forgot to reset how many materials I got this week. I'll put them on this character when I'm done. Anything she's holding currently, I'm moving into uh, the share bank. So, so far this week, help somebody get Red Ring. Put that in the Discord. I decided to do kind of like a, a quick one-off to level them since they're not able to make the stream a lot of the time. And uh, yeah, the payoff was pretty big. Just gotta level up. Now I really don't need that many stat boosters. I could focus predominantly on uh, only mine now if I want to cast. Zoom move so I can hit both of them. Now this character, I think, with one heavenly HP would survive tower, which is good, because I don't need the accuracy boost as much anymore. In particular, if I could swap a heavenly into a centurion, a little ATA boost might be all I need to cap now, because I've gone up two ATA since the start of this. I was already at cap. There's a strong possibility I don't need it anymore. But sadly, I don't have any spare centurions. On the plus side, our solo gameplay should go pretty well. 11.25 ATP is a lot. The forest should go pretty fast. Might be able to 3 combo kill now. some ATP here since it'll be faster. You can even stun them by doing enough damage, which is also nice. I'm gonna go for the PD here. Ah, oh, the minigame music. What appropriate music as we can murder countless enemies. Yeah, so far I'm not seeing any drop frame, so I'm assuming it seems smooth to chat, like there's not big delays in the stream delay. As I could say, talk now, or something like that and test it, but it seems fine. I haven't even seen it go orange yet. So, zero drop frames, 
connection looks fine. Hopefully this new multi-stream layer will help people with a lower quality watch the stream. Because I know that's a big issue if I'm only sending uh, 1020 or 1080p, I mean. It, it could be kind of difficult, especially people on a data plan. Because that was one thing I was kind of unhappy about, where I, I have different recording settings versus like solo recording versus streaming, but it doesn't actively do both as much as I want it to. Off now, but that's with Saturday. Oh, that's a big delay. Rip. Well, hopefully at least the connection is smooth. Goodbye, Marissa's. Bronze badges. Well, that was almost perfect. If I had frozen the enemy in front of me, that would have been perfect, because I lined up for the whole room there. Almost worth it. Good to hear the it's it's smooth at least. So we'll leave it on for the next stream as well. They now 727 HP, which is definitely more than enough to survive Dorfon. I think Dorfon does like 708 or something. I'm able to watch an AP with the delay and had not been true previously. I had to drop to 40p and had to and had the delay. And... So yeah, hopefully this new encoding setting just makes the streams a little better and more accessible overall. Because this computer can definitely handle it. Let's be, let's be real clear, chat. This computer is dedicated to streaming whatever we decide to play. So if it struggles with something, I'm going to be like, what is... What kind of undertuned thing am I running? Ouch. I am in trouble. I am in big trouble. I am completely surrounded by spinners. red spinner, but I can't reach it. Oh wait, I got the stun? Yeah, I got the stun. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm literally outputting more than double the upload compared to what it was before. I think it was, I think it capped it at 6,000, allegedly. I saw it going above 6,000 sometimes. They would warn me about stream health, and I'm like, what do you want me to do? You're on constant bitrate, and you're not following it. <laughs> What's the point of setting constant bitrate if you fluctuate? Question mark. Like, that defeats the whole purpose of the encoding. Anyway, we're gonna go this way and dodge. Tried to sneakily heal there to save myself a resta. Yeah, the way I like to see it is there's kind of a literally a line down the middle of the boss. If you stand so your character's on that line, you generally never miss shots on St. Million. So if you're wondering why I complain about people being too far to the side, it's because if you do that, you're not going to hit the far back ones when it reels back. And you're also not going to hit it when it does stuff like this. Now I'm going to get a lot of shots in. Should be GG. That's fun. Oh, do I go for the cheesy mag blast to break the cutscene? I feel like it's been a little better at not letting me do that. Yeah, see? Oh, there we go. Yeah! I love breaking this cutscene. Screw this cutscene. <laughs> All right, chat. Take that cutscene. Overruled. <laughs> there we go. Now I can just walk around. Yeah. Oh, there we go. See, now we have the jiggle hair from uh, Murphy. Unfortunately, my hair does not sway. I wish it did. There we go. Take that cutscene. We're taking ownership of it. Silly boss. 
Oh, no Galatine. That's sad. Anyway, I'll get one more level out of the run. That'll be nice. I'll be nearly max ATP. And I could definitely squeeze out another 10 ATP if I need it. is putting everybody really close to red ring levels, which is kind of nice. I love having, if I'm the force with the ribbon, I love the hair moves and the ribbon moves. That's my favorite for sure. Yeah, final one and I'm gonna end comfortably a little still an even beat. Let's pull up our list. What are people looking for? Promethean just said, basically cookie fodder. So I wrote for Promethean. Cookie fodder is literally what I wrote in my notes. Um, Murphy, I have listed Heaven or yeah, Heaven Striker, Excal, Red Ring Limiter. We could do a pod or two after this. I did promise a white pod at some point. I don't mind hosting like two of those and then giving up. Just to ride out the even beat and say we did something different. That way people don't really have to swap at all. So that way I can say, hey, we tried limiter. We went for it. Forty hit striker. Mm. Let it rest forever in this eternal land before it gets reset into oblivion. Give it a salute. Goodbye, Riker. Yeah, this will put me at 152. So unfortunately, I've now leveled enough that I don't benefit from invincibility, which makes me a little sad, but it's fine. It just puts me in tower range. Favorite song is Limp Biscuit. I did it all for the cookie. Hmm. Bye, Raffies. I think I try fighting from over here. Normally, I go to the other side. Should work. Bronze badge, don't care about that. Got to go to the share bank, but that's fine. I'm gonna move all the current materials this character has into the uh her own storage. It'll be fun finding it later, but for now I don't really need the materials, so it doesn't matter. I have like 180 or so stored away of each type anyway. Minus luck material. That I think I only have about 90 stored. Not that you need that much. Double PD drop, nice. Less nice if it was from Zoo. Take these. Photon crystal, nice. Exactly, so I think it does 708 with the charge, so. Or just 720, I'm sorry. Yep. Big obstacle is over. So now I'm arguably at the point where I might consider HP material in the character. I didn't take advantage of the low HP properly with this character. But it is it is, I guess. I was gonna say, I have not really seen much drop at all for me so far. I think I've been lucky to get APD. I think Promethea might have missed that. Murphy at one point got uh, two P502s in the same room. <laughs> that was kind of funny. 
We're just doing CCA. Cooks on you, Dorfon. I put a rock between me and you. Perish. Outplayed. <laughs> it tried, though. It tried to run me over on my screen. It just can't. Just waved my finger. Went, uh, uh, uh. Damn, we have enough time to do two pods. Should be fun. That way I could get my obligatory I tried to do limiter during anniversary and received nothing. <laughs> That'll make three years in a row I have not gotten one. Between anniversary and Christmas event, of course. Where I do a ton of Viridian. I love Viridian Christmas fiasco, but dot dot dot. I was going to say, wow, that is a very loaded series of runs mentioned by Promethean there. So far, I've mostly been lucky to get any hit percentage. There's several weapons I don't have any hit percentage on at all. And it would be nice if we got a Galatine with uh, some decent stats other than 10% in something. But alas, it is not meant to be. I say, I'm not dealing with the Astar. I'm gonna move over here. I might incidentally hit them. I'm like, no thanks. I like how my first shot lasered the bird, and then the game's like, you know what we're gonna make you do? We're gonna make you aim at the furthest target so you no longer target the bird you just shot at. Thanks, game. Really appreciate that. Getting actually hard trolled by auto aim. You stop charging at me. They're just silver badges at the moment. Okay, moment of truth. The last chance for a green, uh, Dorfana Claire, I think possibly for the rest of the event. I don't really want to do too many more boss rushes. At least not this week. When it comes to standard boss rush. I'd be more inclined to play yellow ID. Although I guess in theory, they both get Cannon Rouge, I think. On the same enemies. They also both get Galatine. If I remember correctly. Take that, Zoo. Nice. We can pew pew laser the traps. Get out of here. The most untargetable Yaoi. That thing lasted longer than a Dorfon. True story. <laughs> it just like it just ignored like 14 plus shots from the team. Yeah. What a beast. Oh, I should have backed up more. I shouldn't have walked forward. There we go, not too bad. Please. Nope, no dwarf on declares. I was gonna say, wor working as expected. Oh well. An attempt was made, I guess. I'm really surprised we have not hit the end of the Suikoden soundtrack. Like, we've literally played the true endings theme already. Are there different themes per ending that I've just never heard? Because I only went for the true ending. With the boost rare monsters are extra rare, yeah. 
Oh, I deserve to get hit there. Bad aim. I thought I hit normal special, but I hit normal power. Silly. Goodbye, satellite lizards. over here. Okay. Same thing I did last time. These are these, and if I get hit by the bird, I'm gonna be sad. Stay nearest to the Rappies in case they get up. I'll just shoot them real quick. Eventually, I need to walk away from them. Not bad. Mostly just materials. bounds for me. Okay, I think I'm just starting to hit it there. Sending raw Hugh cast ATP in my direction. Welcome, Dango. Hope you've been enjoying uh, Dango Tron. I that he's gotten some levels. I forget what level or what video I specifically helped you with that character. I should probably note it in the YouTube video the surprise cookie run. I don't remember what day that was on offhand. I'd have to skim towards the later half of the video, I think. Goodbye, San Rappi. Yeah, I expected that to happen. Nobody was hitting the zoos. I just got hit by both. Last Wednesday. I'll check. Probably. I know it wasn't the weekend. I'll just have to see if Dangotron shows up at a certain level. Yeah, this quest XP is very silly. Some people are already 171. Getting closer to wearing that red ring picked up earlier. I would just need to get in Parameter's red ring, because I think at this point, almost everybody that's played on stream for like more than a year at this point has gotten a red ring on my stream. I believe that is true. Oh, you haven't picked one up from me, Dan? I mean, you have a million, <laughs> so, so it's a little less pressing. But to be fair, you also don't usually join in on the TTFs as much. Like, I don't even know if we did a TTF together this event. I don't think we did. Except, no, no, there's one time last week, I think. I'm like, wait a minute. I was like, wait, I think you brought in a level 199. 
I think that's about it. But at this point, it's like Dango's got it, Marco's got it, Murphy's got it, Minus X has it. <laughs> like, going through a list here. Get rid of these. We got Dango through the parasitic gene flow nightmare. Draprosti says I'm not, but I've not been around. Well, see? This means you have to hop in some games. I think everybody else at this point has picked one up. Yeah, you did get Red Ring and Flow on the same day. Or like you you suffered enough as a Humar. He could go into he could go into the retirement home. It'll be fine, Dango. <laughs> Once you play Hugh Cast, you're like, why did I play Humar? And I'm like, I know, Dango. I'm so sorry. Some characters are just built different. Gold badges. Oh, I'm in trouble. Or am I the only one in this room? Nice. After 836 TTF attempts, I gave up and brought Red Ring. Oh, that's unfortunate. What's well, first photon crystal of the Wii? <laughs> are, are you are you gotta finish the four humor hum or do you mean finish off? You're like level two hundred, just go shh, 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 shh. We got another Pazuzu before we saw a uh, Dwarf on a Claire. Exactly. <laughs> humor is getting taken out back. Rip humor. I don't even know what the rare is for green ID. I don't think it's anything interesting for people to do. Probably like a rage view or something stupid. That's why I don't remember what it is. Now, if it was Kunai, I'd know, I would know what, what ID we were playing. I'd be like, oh, excitement. Or if it was V801 from Pazuzu. Oh, the Rena 5. Oh. Probably why I don't remember. At least that's a lot of team points. Get that 50. Nice level up. Damn, this character stats are so high now. I wish I could deflate my HP. I feel like PSO was missing out on that item. Like, dip your, dip your health lower, but raise defense and get good resists. So that way it's easier to do in invulnerability triggers. <laughs> Trade max HP for even more ATP. <laughs> Walking around one HP who casts. Oh, there's a Reanov. Isn't that the better Reanov? Indeed it is. Reanov 5 pierces on heavy shots. Okay, will we get Conjured? If you do, you owe me a century in game. Please don't be country you. Damn. Well, I mean, I guess if I get a, a, a century in here, I can upgrade this character. So sad. <laughs> Every time, without fail, I get country you. It's because I wanted. See, before I wanted the Galatine or the century in. But then I said, no, 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 just give me the Galatine. And it was like, oh, okay then. And then it's like, here's nothing, because we're not going to drop the rear for Gondryu. Where did the red spinner go? No, actually, real question. Where did it go? It teleported somewhere. Let me just kill these. I see a yellow. What happened to the red one that I was chasing? There's an orange one. I could go for that one, I guess. I can't see anything. There's so many graphics. Other than I'm getting hard trolled by spinners. <laughs> if you could decipher what's happening on my screen, that would make one of us. Okay, there's the orange one, finally. I don't know what happened to the red one that I was shooting. It, like, legit teleported off screen. Oh, they killed the yellow one? Oh, that sucks. Uh... Oh, is inside another? That would make sense. Because I was like, I shot it like twice and then it just disappeared. Like, I just couldn't find it again. It was like, where did it go? I don't think they're allowed to despawn. Glitches are real. 
Yeah, I kept seeing it like move around, and like by the time I went to turn, there was it wasn't there, which sucked. Yeah, I saw it near like the the wall of white, and then after that, I lost track of it. Just all question marks. I'm assuming it went to the other side of the ring after I teleported three times. Yeah, I th I think it just got shoved at one point and and ended up on the other side. Didn't quite heal properly there. That sucks. Almost timed that right. No, target the spinners. Oh, I hate the spinners. Oh, that's not good. I'm going to get knocked down. I can't hit this. Maybe I can? One shot? Okay. No. Yeah, that's that's why I don't if if there's spinners, I don't go for it. That's the ex that's the exact scenario I never shoot it. Cuz I always expect the spinners to knock me down due to some BS. Cuz they're just weird. I know. I hate the spinners. Not only do they make me miss target, but then they just do, like, some BS. I want to break this false cutscene again. I'm going to watch its HP. Oh, I did it, like, slightly too slow. I pressed it, but I wasn't expecting a thousand damage jump. I, w I pressed it at a thousand, but then it literally took a thousand. Rip. Oh well, I tried. I think it got like ATP of <laughs> existence. Rip boss. Yep, I was gonna say, to no one's surprise, I did not receive the uh. Oh, I just left Promethean dead. That's kind of messed up. I was gonna say, don't look at me. I was really far. I had to walk back for that. 18 more even beats. Okay. No, I don't think that really changes what we're gonna do. I just really hope it's games or something. I'm gonna make the next game and then I'm gonna check my share bang. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Like, arrow keys, please. Let me put everything in the character bank now, and then I'm gonna retrieve from the here so I don't path or something stupid. Can't transfer. I'm gonna have random characters with stuff, but that's fine. We'll call that a happy surprise for me later. Yeah, I got up to, I think, 90 power materials in one week. And I left a lot on the floor. At, at this point, at least eight I have left on the floor. Uh, I'll deposit the gold bag this time. Menuing though. Um, 99 silver. I have so many silvers. If you're talking about me, I have like 400 something at this point. I need to get rid of them. Alright, so I'm gonna remember I was at 60 photon drops. Yeah, fortunately, at least you could just make nine gold badges if you want real quick later on today. It takes, like, no time to do it. I might do bronze gambles when the event is over. But at this point, I think I have over 250 bronze, even having spent it, because I think I have two stacks of 99 and then a 60, plus all the assorted badges on other characters.
I'm still surprised the soundtrack is going on. We have to be near the end. Not quite, apparently. Is it like all the victory themes are just in here for the mini games? Is it just playing all the musical flares that are used in combat? What's on white ID that for this limiter? I'm gonna move it forward since we're it just sounds like sound effects for like another 30 seconds. Um what soundtrack do I feel like listening to? I'll do this one. I was going to say shout outs to people that recognize the song immediately. I'm going to be so sad if it's Dorfana player here. I'm not even going to lie. Like, don't you even dare game. Don't you even dare show Dorfana player. Yeah, we're doing pawn. That's why I'll be upset if we get Dwarf on Declare, because there's like no Dwarf Pawns in this quest. So any guesses as to the soundtrack? The hint is always is that it's a game we've played on stream. I do like this game a lot, actually. Can't say the same for its sequels. Oh boy, Liberta kit. Let me let me get right on that. <laughs> I think I gave away most of mine to Hellcleave at this point in part of trades. I'm like, I'm never making this mag. I don't want to make another mag. I don't care how it looks. I got Nidra, that's all I want. I was going to say, fun fact, when I was getting the voice clips from this game, I actually looked up in the hex code, Andrew drops limiter. It hasn't killed the zoo yet. Kill this real quick then. While attempting to get voice clips for this game, this is one of the few games that didn't have an option to remove the uh, background music from some of the scenes. So I went in and I actually removed in the hex. <laughs> the volume. I set it to zero in the hex. And that did actually work, surprisingly. Even though by default in the game you cannot do that, fun fact. That made taking cutscene voices kind of hard. Yeah, for a while, I didn't take voice clips from it. Let's see, any other fun facts about this game? Um, it might be tied for most voice clips I've taken from a game. It's up there. It's definitely one of the earliest games I've taken clips for. So it's kind of like what I view as one of the stream staples. We might play this again at some point. I'm not so much a fan of the hard mode dungeons in this game, though. I'm not going to lie. There you go. That that's like a million hints. People either know it now or they don't know it. <laughs> there there's only one thing that would have hard mode dungeons. Yeah, there we go. It's a deep Valkyrie profile. Exclamation mark! I hate it. Is from the tr one of the true ending paths, and that was one of the sound clips I had to remove the sound from. If you're curious. Because most of the other times you can listen to the voices outside of it. 
But that one is from when uh, Lenneth has the freak out. That's where she, she remembers herself. Get out of here. Although, honestly, almost every single one of Arngrim's lines is quotable. Die and be silent. Uh, dead already? Uh, I love a good fight. There we go. Can't tell if that was Ziggy or a sound clip. Oh no. There we go. I was gonna say, <laughs> then we immortalized one of the ones that didn't have a voice. I think it's exclamation mark what? Dead already? That that when we, that line in context was like one of, one of the most funny things I'd ever seen in the game. I don't think it was supposed to be funny. What? What does this mean? She says with like the stupidest face. So at least I got her portrait during that. Damn, my mistyping is awful. Says the parameter. Mm 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 mm. I think it's still probably one of my favorite RPGs of all time. I just don't like the hard mode dungeon design. Chat does not want to know how long it took me to get out of the Mirror Mansion puzzle. That thing took me like an actual eternity to get out of. That was horrible. For every time you go through a room, it rotates the rooms. And it keeps rotating every room every time you move. And it's like, haha. And then you also have to do platforming, and you also have to dodge something that's slowly moving through the area. Hate that area. The worst is when I know where to go, but I jump into the thing by accident. Makes me so sad. Yeah, I think 2025, I think, is going to be... Oh, nice. Let's just go Brave Man's. At least we're getting consolation prizes. But I think 2025 will be the year of my favorite games again. I'm contemplating if I want to redo Radiant Historia. Or if I want to try the old version of Radiant Historia to mix it up. Because technically, we played a DS version. I could try to play the old version where all the balancing is different. So it would be like relearning the game to an extent. Because a lot of the routing I did was dependent on the DS stuff. And also the game is balanced differently, of course. Definitely want to do Gujian 3. We did end up doing it this year, and I, I don't see us fitting it in by end of year. It's quite a long game. I think last time I started it in December, I want to say, and we didn't finish till like March. But it is nice. Okay, moment of truth. Damn. Oh well, Shamberton must die. So we'll do one more, and that should ride out the even beat. I see an orange one behind me. I'm gonna go for it. Never mind. I'm contemplating if I want to do Star Ocean on stream or not. 
That game was kind of long. I'm not sure how the how much the funny voice clips will hold up and, and get through the game. The story itself is okay. The music is okay. The voice lines are some of the worst English I've heard in a while. It's that classic 90s, we, we sort of tried. I don't like Star Ocean PS2. I really, really hated that game. Another 10% PD boost, nice. Yeah, I still think that has one of the worst plot twists of all time. I really, really did not like it. I think anything that immediately just kind of invalidates my character's purpose is though like, oh, this is not a thing you've actually done, but it's X instead. Like, oh, you were really this all along? I don't like those twists at all. I wouldn't be playing the character that I've been playing the whole game. Similarly, not thrilled with things like the Final Fantasy VII reveals. Just like, ugh. Let's move on. I'm my own character at this point. Kill me, Gusta. Get out of here. and 23,000 experience. Wow. I like how the boss is like 60% like of the experience of the run or so. Another 50 hit striker. Pointless. Oh well, we got enough time for one more. If I have to, I will try to cannon rouge it or whatever. I turn the striker into a baton? Oh? Unless you mean, can you turn it into like Dark Bridge, then yes. I think it's like Rod, Striker, something else. I, I don't think Magic. Unless Magical Piece uses the same thing as Dark Bridge, I don't really think about that. Then question mark. It's 50 hit heaven striker, happy, get 50 hit striker, sad, pretty much. It didn't hit heaven, we need a better striker. Yeah, I thought magical piece needed wands. It's always confusing with the canes and wands to me. I, I never keep them straight. Which is of which category. Like, huh, look at all these weapon types for forces. Good thing they're literally useless and no player will use them. Pew pew. Yeah, so without Heavenly, I'm capped ATA. Thanks to all those level ups. In theory, I could end up unequipping something. Because that means I probably don't even need Heavenly Arms at all. I'm getting hit by that, yeah. I'm <laughs> like, I'm not dodging. Love is the Sword of Home Scepter is the dainty one, and Riker is the long stick.
feel like I'm more confused. Love and Striker are the same type. I don't think there's three types of wands. Like, there's a lot in this game. I don't think there are. Because there's there should be eight total, unless I'm misremembering, and they're divided into two groups of four. Chat can very easily fact check me on Wiki right now. And I'm pretty sure that is the case. If there were three groups, that's even sadder, to be honest, because, like, I try to avoid using them so much. They're legit terrible. I guess there's stabs. I guess stabs fall into that, so that's, that would be the third type. Like, Mercury. Oh, well... Actually, now I'm, now I'm double... Now I'm double thinking. Wait, no. Hold on. I need to think about this. Brain is processing what uh, Mercurius Rod is technically. Because it's not a normal wand, that's for sure. But I don't think it's that either. So it falls under the Rod Pull Pillar Striker, which makes sense. But I just want to double check. Weapons, real quick. Yeah, they're cane rods and wands. Okay, so the rods would be what's needed for Dark Brit. Okay. I'm like, wait a minute. I was parsing that through. I'm like, wait a minute. That doesn't fall on the two other types. Because there's one, one type that is horribly, horribly slow. And the only thing I could think of is every time I use Mercurius. And I'm like, man, if it was any other type, how much better Mercurius would have been? Makes me so sad that it's not useful. This is going to be a very interesting boss fight, I think. <laughs> We're going to be raced into the finish. interest there, fortunately. I have been buffed. I have to go back for a Cannon Rouge just to deal with the boss. Yeah, I think I will. I mean, I don't mind. I'll just whip out the Cannon Rouge. I don't really care. I just realized I don't have it on me, which is more concerning. We'll be able to do the surface, I think, with no issues, but underground's gonna be a pain. So we're gonna we're gonna experiment in real time, because I don't use Cannon Rouge on the boss super often, ever since I learned it. I used it a couple times. But it's good that the damage is consistent on each core. Nice little thing there. Yeah. by San Rappi. Now I should be able to bait the dwarf on, which I wasn't able to before. Oh, I was like one step too close. That is so sad. That was so sad. I was almost exactly where I needed to be. Anyway, it can't do anything to me now. Probably around where the timer hits 20 minutes, we're gonna run out. There's no way we'll be able to do the boss, but I think it's a decent distance in here. I'm just gonna teleport back out once we talk to the guy, pick up a CR, and continue. I don't think I identified it, but I don't think it matters, because it didn't come with anything useful. The 
by Yowie is. Pew 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 pew! left, huh? God, we got through the waves where we really needed them, so I don't think it really matters for the remainder of what we do here. I actually got trolled by Lieutenant Mantle. I shot the trap instead of the zoo. Unfortunate. Anyway, I know if I go towards that red crystal, that's my visual cue that I should be fine. Ooh. Hit it with like a beat left. I'm definitely going back for the Cannon Rouge because I would like to actually do something on this boss fight. Ah, oh, I didn't see the other warp. We got a little bit left. We might be able to use it on the boss, but we gotta go in here now. Yeah, just go, just go. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We got a little bit, and we might be able to use it for a couple shots. It's all we really need for this. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, somebody was standing too close to me. I'm in big trouble now. Up downwards, it really sucks. Please don't hit me. Okay. Almost killed the right one. There we go. Okay, I can't reach time. Um... We're in Azulor for sure. So I can always land heavy attacks with Raw Moral. You can see I can even technically land the special on this boss. I don't even have Red Ring yet. So it's not a question of whether or not I can hit this boss. It's going to be a question of... Can I not get cheesed by spinners? I like that my colors match the gun though. Should always be able to land a heavy here. Oh no no no! Normal in this. Yeah, I, I know Promethean. Kill these. I got double hit. Are you serious? And please. And double hit there sucks. It's almost dead. Almost naked at the damage. Close. Oh, it's missed like that last little. Oh, we got it. We got it. <laughs> I was like, if if I was the force, I would just grants for that little bit. It wasn't too bad.
victory music as we kill Chamberdain. I guess that's appropriate. Okay, so let's do another run for a little bit of time. Is anybody looking for anything in particular? Not a dragon skill. Could probably go pick it up. some money. Ended up with quite a lot. Uh, I got two gold badges that run. That's pretty good. I guess I should look at the Heaven Striker. Oh, I think I have the same stats as Murphy's. I guess Hellcleave just made it the same way. It's not the one my other one has. My other one is uh, 139, I think. Or no, maybe 100, I think it's 140, 54 or something like that. I don't think it has any power on it. Oh, Murphy made it? That makes sense. Because I'm like, I know I have one that has, like, literally zero power, because I didn't want to do it that way. I, I think I'd prefer a little bit of accuracy or, uh, ATP. Get rid of these. Don't need these. <laughs> I was gonna make another- I mean, this is one of the raw morals I was using, to be fair. I still might make one more, but I'm probably gonna make more Hue casts and raw casts. So, I should have enough striker units for each of my characters full time. Because technically, my Ramar needed a, a striker unit, and it's in the bag. So, I have enough for at least one more character, and then one for leveling. There we go, we're getting up there. So, what kind of hunts are people looking for? This character did their job today. Can't complain. Ninety hit caliber. You want me to play as my Sky ID character? In theory, I could. Say we went for it. Fifty hit lane. I'm gonna say, wow, there is quite a lot of people here. Again, Block 2 is looking busy. I just see a remote character. I see the dot R. Um. I mean, is there a specific place you want to go? We're out of even beat, so I imagine we're not doing episode four. Oh, that reminds me, what is the HBR? Or RBR? I wanna see what that is. Ew, Endless Slammer 1. <clears throat> Numbral Surge 6. That's a lot of ill gills. 
That is like a disgusting number of ill kills. Why are there so many in this quest? There are 57 ill kills in that quest chat for clarity. Okay, chat. I, I need like a serious suggestion. Do you actually want to go for Excalibur? Because your options are. It would be episode 4 underground, and I would play Sky ID. Endless episode 1. So that way we just get a mix of rares, including Holy Ray and all the Ubers. Or technically Pink CCA. Well, Pink Jungle. Pink Mountain, I think more accurately. Chat isn't a stalemate. I mean, otherwise I'll pick the quest. I'm just checking what the anniversary total is before I go further. Ludana will not help answer that question. <laughs> yeah, we're at 10% photon drop rate. Where are we at with the other ones? 9k each. Including Ziggy Choose is the best option. I'm not looking for anything. I haven't been able to get anything I'm looking for. We've technically done the runs. It just we don't receive anything. This is not even beat. I don't really want to do episode four. I guess it's a question of Does anybody need a parasitic gene flow? Does anybody need Galatine? There's one quest we could do we haven't done in a while. I believe there's room, because Murphy stepped out. We could RT. I was thinking RT or Endless Episode 2. I'm fine with either. We haven't done either in a while. I will bring in a yellow ID character. So we could start with an RT, I guess. I, I want to get my additional Galatine chances in. My yellow ID is a raw cast. Okay. So we have a raw mar, a raw cast, etc. I'll ask remote battery first. Did you have a character you wanted to bring in? Or if, uh, actually Kaiser can potentially hop in as well. I'm fine with either. I'm gonna host an RT. Do you want to hop in remote battery for an RT? I'm looking for the Galatine. Kaiser's already here, remote. <clears throat> Are you joining us, Marco? Uh, let me sell some of these items. I think we'll do a couple of these and then see what's up. AFK for one minute. Hmm. It's kind of rough in an RT, but we could try. This is like the only quest we can't teleport on.
Yeah, depending on how long this one takes. Oh wait, other way. Tarty. I was thinking endless for a second. I was like, whoops. Oh, I didn't double hit. That's a shame. Yeah, I think my white ID character is pretty much ready to host an endless start to finish. I just have to replace one of their stuff with uh, Heavenly HP. So that way I could bring in like moderate buffs and debuffs. Or if needed, I could just play the white force all the way through. Definitely want to check boxes, because yellow ID boxes are very silly. Sadly, nothing of interest there. What's in yellow boxes? Uh, things like red barrier and like good amplifiers. We've gotten I think three or four red barriers playing this, so I'm always gonna check them. It's decent value. Yeah, surprisingly, yellow has almost every single force item imaginable. But I think when we're going to go through the section ID guide, I think I'm just going to recommend people generally play yellow over pink, unless they really want uh, limiter mother garb on one character. It legitimately gets every barrier and every wand of like the elemental types. And I think the yellow hunts are just better than pink. Because you don't really want to do... Unless you're just only doing pink desert or something. Because honestly, yellow at least could do, like, RT hosting. It could do episode 4, start to finish. They benefit from rare enemy or normal hunts. They're pretty good during events. Yeah. I mean, the fact that you option select, like, a Galatine or Daylight Scar, but then also still get, like, ridiculous items, it's pretty silly. Plus, they're my favorite ID for Endless. So, I still think they have quests dedicated to them in every episode. Yeah, like I like I like the pink cookie desert quest for like Slicer of Fanatic, don't get me wrong. Mixed in with a whole bunch of value drops, but overall. Man, yellow is so solid. Just not good at episode one Dark Falls, which is unfortunate. That was that is what most people run. But Pink ID doesn't get that either, so it doesn't matter. Pink ID is pretty bad at episode one. I wonder if they'll end up buffing Pink ID episode one at any point. That that is just like a wall of sadness of like just borderline unusable or unplayable runs. Oh, the boss is cooperating. I get some free shot. I mean, I'm not going to say no to this. It's pretty much dead now. Goodbye. Yeah, I don't hear a lot of people talk about yellow ID on stream or otherwise. 
gonna rep yellow ID. Okay, lined up mini game. Not lined up. Let's try again. Maybe. Maybe. I'm slightly angled to the right, that's what I'm worried about. Turning HP, nice, nice. Oh, I might just barely not have to move. Yeah, there we go, I qualified. <laughs> Boom. Uh, pretty much this entire area, I refuse to do anything else. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, most people lined up. The trick is to look at the rivets and just be between the rivets. So my goal is to just basically use my traps, shoot bazooka, teehee funny things. I don't plan on swapping out at the bazooka the, entire, the entirety of this run. I'll do that though to assist. Alright, let's see if we could go for the dumb freeze, switch pop, hit pan arms. Let's see, bait. Hit here. Oh, slightly too close. That's so sad. That is so sad. I need to put it closer to the switch. So if I put the freeze trap in between in the target. I can hit the freeze trap, which hits the switch, and hits the pan arms, and hits the other things, and kills them. But unfortunately, my trap was just a little too close to uh, the enemy. I might have chat still humor me with an endless episode too. We'll probably play white ID because it'll be like a million discovery man chances. As long as it's not freeze, I think I'm fine. Here we go, tank is holding forward. Tankus is going to level again. I think he's been at max ATP for a while. So I guess I'll appreciate the bonus health versus Tornado. Here we go. Build a little meter. He walked into me. That built more meter. Calculated. <laughs> you like that chat? Mmm. And all the way down to eight. As long as this doesn't land on me, I should be fine. Oh, it did land on me. Rip. Rip me. So sad. I thought I was out of distance. I guess I could have pulled, pulled forward to dodge that. I wasn't really visible on camera, to be fair. Heavenly TP. That's such a sad draw. On the plus side, that built me a lot of meter. Of this for now.
to level up. He's still using a Heavenly Arms? I guess... Yeah, I guess he's still not quite there. Interesting. So if I did like a double century and it would technically be better than what I'm doing. But if I could get one more accuracy, I could replace the Heavenly Arms. So that means I'll have a lot of floating Heavenly Arms. Which is good, because I want to do a Ranger Run on the weekend. It'll be ideal that I have a, a, few, floating, uh, a few floating Heavenly Arms for other players. As well as myself. I just gotta level up the Hunu World Mag, I think, for gameplay. Should be good. that way, I'm not gonna worry about it. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, they get all the elemental ones. Cannon Rouge O'Clock. I'm ending at 75 meter. I have more than enough to get 100 meter by the end. We want to do a Super Mag Glass. Get close, but not too close. Okay, got some free hits. One more hits. A little too far, I need to move closer. Tornado straight up bullying me and killing me. Thanks, Tornado. That was kind of BS. I love that it, like, confused my direction, too. The jerk. So annoying. Tornado into lightning into slam is the true combo. GG. I'll spin in circles. No galatine. Oh well. Nice. Promethean got one. Did he teleport? I, I definitely did that to try to freeze him. Whatever.
There we go. Okay, so I get to choose when I get my meter. As long as I only use specials here, I won't build anything. Preferably want it on the last room, if I'm able to do it. make them easier to hell. Right, so I gotta wait a little bit. I don't have Twin Blaze and then I can't do what I want to do with Twin Blaze anyway. Good enough. I'm gonna do without any particular pattern, just spamming two until he dies. Bye, Del Beater. Right, so I'm set up so that I can get invincibility in the room that I wanted to get. If I get hit in this upcoming room, it doesn't really matter. So in theory, I could proc it here and then take it through the hallway. Should probably assist first. Okay, getting in here wouldn't be the worst thing. If he wants to hit me here, that's fine. I'm going to put a free strap down for him. <sighs> Just actually deleted him. So now I can just choose to proc it whenever I want to. I think I need to do one set of Vulcan shots to trigger it. Don't want to trigger this. I'm just gonna face tank it then. If I get it, I get it. Sadly, no invincibility. Because I prefer it in this room or the room after for the invincibility trigger. Oh well. Damn, this room legit has never paid off. It's so sad. If you've seen it drop weapons before, it just doesn't want to. I know Heaven Striker is going to hit the boss early. So I definitely want to equip it and pew pew this boss out of existence. Heaven Striker can shoot the boss when it's up in the sky. I could probably get three Heaven Striker shots in and switch to Charge Vulcan if I want to do my normal strat. Or I could just greed and do all Berserk. I don't think it really matters either way, because I'm doing so much free damage. The time to shoot Skyward with the homing accuracy VS. Ideally here I'm going to land two shots, but it's more likely I'm only going to land one. Because that's just 2k less we have to do when it comes into targetable range. So we just need somebody to Zalore here, and we should be good. If it doesn't get Zalore, GG. Oh, I landed two shots. Oh, no Zalore. Oh, where was the Zalore? I believe in you, Hoving Laser. 
<laughs> like auto aim don't don't let me down i'm not aiming he can move all wherever he wants damn all right so if we zalor him but we gotta wait for him to look around but zalor doesn't trigger it i'm gonna switch over to charge vulcan now should be a lot of damage I will feel very sad if somebody shoots this early. I'll probably die. Let's find out. Moment of truth. There we go. Perish. Goodbye. I guess as I missed this allure. Oh no. The Humar jokes. As we learned last time, for some reason Humar can't debuff the first phase of Olga Flow. It, it like it's just too far. Like it's actually just messed up. They could have moved the boss like a little closer to not do that. But they're like, nah. Raw moral forces, they can debuff all the bosses in midair. Every other character Humar, ain't. Eh. Try again. There we go. I'll take my money's worth. Alright, uh, it's enough of this. We did RT. I could say I did it during the event. I want to do one more quest before we do two TTFs. Because I'm looking at the time. Oh, it took a little longer than I thought. I'm gonna bring in a white ID force. My goal is to debuff everything and for the team to basically ATP hell everything out of existence. So this is the white ID version of Endless. But it's going to be a ton of discas as well as a ton of really solid ubers on pretty much anything tower. The more tower enemies we see, the better with this run with white ID. If we see less, it's not the end of the world, because they still have a solid temple, and they have a decent CCA. Spaceship sucks. Like, whatever. Thank you for stepping out, Kaiser. Letting us know. Hopefully you, uh... Enjoy your runs later today, if you do any. Game, please. Yeah, it's a good mix. This quest doesn't, like, need need casts, but it's nice. I think if somebody has, like, one dedicated, they're always helling, they'll probably clear most of this quest. It should be a bazillion experience, too, because it's kind of fast-paced episode, too. For words that you don't normally hear put together. Let's give it a shot. There should be V502 chances, amongst many, many other good items. There we go. At least you get one more ATA in the future world, damn. Marco will take a spot. Sure thing, Marco. So we need a fourth player. I believe Murphy still stepped down. If you want remote battery, you can out back in. If you want to negotiate with Dango. There we go. This character already has everything they need. But I have so much roll resistance, I should be good. So expect to fight episode 2 bosses. Oh, Dango's still at work. Oof. Rip Dango. I like this area. Guys, enjoy your super buffs. <laughs> I'm gonna be focusing basically on debuffing and maybe bringering. Uh, 
I'm gonna go for a Razan Stunlock as the team deals with these. I think it's kind of working. I got the... For electrical prowess to someone. Stupid spaceship. Avoid taking damage. Okay. I was gonna say, I, I don't think that's gonna happen, but we could try to believe. Oh, I actually need it? Nice. Just straight up murdering that person. Oh. It was like its body was like on left and right. It got riddled full of laser bullets. Avoid death, but we have immunity? Okay. I mean, I'm okay with this. Listen, episode two, but we're just randomly invincible. I mean, okay. There's some potentially good white ID drops here. I doubt we'll see them, but in theory they exist. death takes us to tower hmm two of these things are incompatible okay, so we're hoping for some ill gills interesting debuff everything i have been sat on by gibbles don't appreciate that gibbles oh found the ill gill hey there's boxes Ooh, tower boxes are kind of good Definitely want to pop those soon. Leveled up, nice. And nothing of interest in there. Ooh, I appreciate the extra ATP, actually. My ATP is booty. There's some demon shots here. Reads everything, so the team has a million opportunities to blast them. There we go. Thank you, Freeze. Glad to hear random enemies. Pop up the other pan arms. Quick remote. Such a fun amount of enemies. <laughs> so many penalties there. Oop. Avoid taking damage. Or discos. Okay, we're getting some of the consolation prizes. Whatever, I could do whatever they want. I don't care about it. I'm gonna go for some Razans here, I think. Some more V5 chances. 
I'm happy we're seeing the tower enemies. Generally, white has some pretty good uber chances on most of these. over. I was gonna say avoid death in temple? I hope so. I mean, there's always a chance I get lilied, but... Samurai. Yeah, White Temple at least has, I think, one of the items. It might be Vivian. I always forget. Sky might get Vivian, and then White might get Rambling May. Always forget. One of those things I don't stare at the Episode 2 drop parts enough to remember. I just know Pink has both, and I just play Pink for that. Disgusting. We're almost at our first boss. I was like, ha, huh, I'm not scared of your good. My three seals makes me immune. Cool. I definitely want to pop these boxes. I don't know where the enemy is. Nothing in the boxes. Debuff, debuff. Make life easier. For some Migids. Ooh, Migid actually work. Love to see that happen. Sat on. Not my favorite. Keep up time so I don't die. Boss time. Avoid taking dragon it or taking damage in the dragon fight. Hmm. Questionable. I mean, I can't do anything this fight. This is like anti me. Like the only boss I don't really want to see. Can't even debuff him. Wow, that still hit me from there? That's insane. I guess it hits three tiles away. Yeah, it must be literally three, but like if you're slightly over the third, you get hit. Boxes are good. I think we're good. I buy boss money. Oh, there are actually sorcerers in this quest. Interesting. Oh, I got the freeze. Get wrecked. using hell or good screw you <laughs> right chat listen sometimes we could just ignore the thing it's like oh, we could technically we lose money whatever i don't really want to go to olga flow anyway 
Wait, where's this enemy that he's out of my debuff range? Oh, he's like way down there. Wonder. That would explain some things. I don't care, I'm using me good. I was wondering where they were. They're up here. <clears throat> Three seals actually negated the damage. That is so funny. Get Rex and O'Barrel. Outplayed. RNG said no. Yeah, see, we're almost competitive with the Episode 4 experience right now. Like, we're, we're legit only, like, 5 XP off. But definitely when you have Hell, this goes pretty quickly. I don't know if White ID has any interesting drops. I, I know Yellow... Yellow and Pink do. White, I don't remember. I know they randomly get Disca. So I'm gonna check the boxes. But I think, for example, their Temple boxes might get it for occasionally. But it also depends on the difficulty. They take a PD. God, it's just actually mowing them down. Holy. I'm almost not getting a chance as a war. That's how quick they're dying. Be careful, because I am using a lot of tri fluids. Should probably put on another adept. Okay, more chances at what ID drops. We're actually now completely outpacing uh, Episode 4 experience. Just FYI, like, that's kind of silly. Oh, e oh man, even I'm bullying enemies here? That's, un that's not fair. It said don't hell, but I'm like, whatever. I, I do what I want. What ID can technically get things like Heaven Striker when it just randomly does Seabed. Which is not the worst thing ever if you fight something in Seabed. Otherwise, we have an okay chance of finding Disco Brave Mans in most areas. Or at least there's something of value every room.
And honestly, there's kind of a shocking number of Gaigui. Maybe we'll do some Sky Joke runs through here. We're like, hold on, we're doing SJS and Endless 2. There we go, we got another tower. Perfect. So we'll do one more loop, and then we'll we'll finish off with some uh, TTF. This quest usually takes a little bit of time. Always check the boxes. There's a lone ill girl by itself over there. I guess I'll go greet it. I think, is White ID Cycle 1 Odell Lily? I forget. I mean, either way, I'll take it. Don't get me wrong. Spam freeze to slow them down a little bit. There we go. Coming Promethean. Oh, just swapping items. Yeah, we'll go until we run out of loop time, I think. Okay, so I can at least debuff this boss as it goes by. I, I have more to do in this fight than Soul Dragon. Worm boss also kind of takes a while, but fortunately we don't have to wait for the raft. That's probably my favorite way of fighting Worm boss, because you don't have to sit on it. Last few more challenge, SDS, yeah, so no. Okay, I should do okay damage with ice. I could try to make myself the target by getting close. Give Chad a chance. to try really hard to be the target for the most part. My chat doesn't have to worry about it. Ow, ow. Tornado, please. So we're definitely going to end it like 315 plus XP a second. Because this boss is worth quite a bit. Or not. Interesting. Maybe he gave the XP already. Anyway, I'm gonna pause the timer. Ah, let's do one more lap, and then uh, two TTFs to finish. It is Rambling May on the Rappy. So Rambling May, Disc of Rayman, M13, and Temple, which are all pretty solid. For Spaceship, it gets Gurren, technically, from Del Saber, which is okay. Otherwise, this Disc of Rayman from Ease. Keep up real quick. Handgun Gold from Maricuses, Disco Brayman from Gibbons, Disco Brayman from Zol Gibbon, Lavas Cannon Gibbles, which we see a lot of, Stink Frame, Dolm, Darls, Heaven Striker from Sinozoas. So we have, like, you know, fairly decent rares no matter what area we go to. And obviously, we have E502 uh, from Ilgil. I'm gonna double check which enemy Cycle 1 is on, but I know it can appear. Del Lily. So there's there's a good number of Del Lilies. I'm just gonna hell you. Get out of here. Yeah, the only thing here of interest are just the Del Sabers. We see Del Sabers. Maybe it's a Gurren. Not bad if you're trying to do fodder for hunters. Or spaceship, huh? That's unfortunate.
on me again. I tried freezing them. I got unlucky. I'm spamming that resto, listen. <laughs> like, I will tank this. So just a lot of just get Rayman chances and and cycle one B502, which I'm kind of okay with. I think most people are looking for high end discos. I see it reset our XP in lane where we did another loop. Lucky with freeze. Fortunate. The damage there. Lots of Disco Rayman chances yet again. Not gonna say no. I think we said Gibbles was Lava's Cannon, which is kind of nice. There seem to be a decent number of them, but just a lot of Ubers in this hunt. Kind of enjoyable. Oh, there's a Healing Circle back there. Hmm. That is true. I didn't look for the healing circles. This quest in theory should have healing circles pretty often. It looks like this place has one. I don't know if you would destroy the rock or whatever. Hmm. Not sure. Wait, healing? Yeah, I can do that. That guy Gui instantly. Get out of here, guy Gui. Oh, uh, rip. I think that counts as healing, sadly. I'm just getting a little low. Where guy Gui's? As I said before, there's a shocking number of guy Gui's at this quest. Honestly, I half wonder if it's worth running on Sky ID. I guess it just depends on how good their other drops are. Taking damage, I could probably do that. More chances of rambling maze. Oh, I think they're using. To yeah, I was gonna say if Berserk is being used, objective failed. Oh well. Oh, took damage there anyway. Doesn't matter. Stupid Hilda. Get Brainman, but all zero. Disappointing. Void healing? Okay. I think that's doable. Oh! This team just immediately loses all their health. Well, don't heal, I guess. Oh, Brands is uncontrolled. Oh boy. Pop that. Over badge. Oh no, the confused trap. Oh man, that it was almost super bad. <laughs> it's like, holy, oh, rip remote. And that's 60 seconds though. Oh, I missed that silver badge on my screen. Oop. Heal the team up. Nothing to do over there. Morphosis. 
Work must really hit me from there. It sucks. Definitely debuff time. I think we said the Cenozoas gave heaven. There's a couple chances of the door in the run, I guess. Not many, though. Seems to prefer the Del Beaters. You know, I, oh, I actually killed it with Megid. That is so shameful. I cannot believe I just got away with that. No way. Did it happen again? Actual insanity. Definitely want that PD. Okay, one more before the boss. I will gladly open boxes here. Because there could be more Disco Brave Mans. Yeah, I, th I think White ID CCA gets Disco Brave Man in boxes. For whatever reason. I'm not going to complain. I'm just like, listen, some box IDs are actually worth remembering if they have something. Like, Blue ID more on more often than not has Jaya. In particular on lower difficulties. Disco Brave Man, sadly no good stats. Ooh, 90 seconds at it. That's nice. Avoid using the Seta. Okay. <laughs> Mission already accomplished for the Force. Don't worry about that. I could see this potentially also being a pretty solid yellow ID run. There's so many back-to-back -back potential Galatines. And yellow likes everything except for, uh... Worm Boss, I think. Go away from me. That's unfortunate. That's wounding it pretty well. Got some buffs going. There's remote. <laughs> I will heal you eventually and buff you. And he's only worth 50. Why is he only worth 50,000? I thought he was worth 80. Wow, that's with double XP. That's kind of insane how bad that is. That's actually atrocious. Wow, you would have thought with 200% XP he would give more, but nope. I gotta find Marco. I was gonna say somebody needs to, uh, there we go. Goodbye, Maricus. And most of the murder flowers are an uber of some sort for white ID too. Bronze badge, I'll take that. Good freeze. See, so yeah, I think I I think I'm not observing. I'm just getting used to the waves. I need to start observing for where the healing circles are. I don't see any here. I don't think we saw this room before, so it might, I would not be surprised if a healing circle was here. We're done. One minute left. Let's see what we could do. I was gonna say, it'd be nice if we got a rambling May, but it's probably not gonna happen. Added 60 seconds in, then. I'm just starting to get mag blast. Sadly, though, not enough time on the timer. Level up, though. Wish I didn't do it there. 
meant to just do die fluid. That I tried. Yeah, like this area tends to have a healing circle, so I'm gonna check after we're done with this. One start starts in there or not. That's a lot of gibbles. So again, white ID wants to see gibbles, so that's fine. But if a lot of areas have gibbles, I'm definitely happy about that. We're just straight up getting murdered. We're using color me good, okay. Some random mag has appeared. Rip mag. Yeah, the only thing I need to figure out more is just where the healing circles were. If we had more time, I would explore more. GG, it's over. I'm just gonna watch that timer tick down. It's so sad. GG. We'll end with uh, two TTFs. I think overall we got close to 350. Thing Promethean, thank you for the runs. Somebody would like to take Promethean's spot for the last two runs of the day. So we'll see what IDs we have and then we'll host accordingly. I prefer green or red to host. I can host this guy, I just think it's the least rewarding. Looks like remote has a Viridian. Viridian would also work. Let's have a uh, remote make it. We have a fourth slot open. So we'll give a couple minutes. He's gonna say. Most people usually want Red Ray, but we're just double checking if somebody would like to hop in for the fourth slot. Sir Frosty says they're down. Sure thing, Sir Frosty. Hop on in. So far, after almost three hours of streaming, no drop frames, green connection all the time. I guess last year when I was having trouble doing 5,000, I'm assuming it was just due to Xfinity rate limiting me. 
Then they had that big wall pass that said they couldn't really do that anymore and had to increase it during uh, COVID. Because <laughs> I'm noticing I haven't had connection issues in a while, by the way, Chad, after that happened. But thanks, Xfinity. We have video proof because I have not had a drop at all. Wait, why can't I move? Hello? 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 Uh... Hello? I think we got a reset. I have control, but not movement. That's really weird. Somebody else said that happened to them as well. I wonder what causes that. It's the first time that's happened to me on stream. Sorry about that. Weird. Okay, take two. And it's weird too, because you can see like I can access the menu on my controller. It's like it spawns me in a bad spot, and then it just doesn't know what to do. <laughs> just puts me in the corner and it's like nope is usually I'm not in in the corner spawn I don't know what's causing that I'm gonna use some confused traps here it is viridian so I should probably kill these It was meant to be a freeze draft. Oops. Also, I didn't get any buffs. Okay. Dragon boss, there's so much DPS hitting it. I'm gonna go for slime dupes if I can. It's just free experience and bad just checks while we wait. Looking at your stream, I noticed my D band is 18. Indeed, it is. Let's try to walk towards the warp. Got redirected once, apparently. I was gonna say, any time spent waiting for me is negated by the fact that I saved five seconds coming here. It's slime duping time. One, two, three. No. Yeah, if you put it in the center, that's where it spawns, so it'll just die instantly. Rip slime. Doop straight to hell. I'm gonna do a pause trick into a freeze trap into a freeze trap for people wanting to kill this room. I figured that should assist. Let chat do that. Dupin' time. Uh 
Uh-oh, you're pulling them away from me. You should just walk towards me. For future reference, just run straight towards me. Don't walk around the sides. That makes them go weird. Unfortunate. Yeah, if you walk towards me, it doesn't matter. But if you then walk away from me, that's a problem. I'll pipe up. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, because I'll try to slowly move it towards the door if anybody's with me, so that way people can get to the door a little quicker. Really? I didn't get invincibility? That blows. Goodbye, try me. I sacrificed you for a good cause. Damage is kind of disgusting. Should be near the boss draw. Indeed. Wait for them to pop the crates. There we go. It's always worth double backing for that, because it could be PDs. Well, I need to stay. I need to at least see the boxes explode, then I'll move on. Three kills. Goodbye, Sino Red. You know what? I got some time. I'll, I'll get the kills here. I'm like they're not they're, they're just one button to me anyway I might as well check them okay so we should be roughly on time for the Sinnoh rad they haven't even killed it yet I'm entering the room perfect Time it so we see the body appear. Here we go. Goodbye. Let me lure them in a group here. I prefer them to chase me a little. There you go, chat. You like that little bit of <laughs> I'm like, listen, there's four in the room. I figured out how to move in a way that they will not target me. That's all I've learned. Since there's no point to actually defeating them anymore. Build the guild check. I will equip a twin blaze. Marco getting ever closer to the 180. Red ring looking like probably an end of the week item already. Monitors didn't get hit at all. That's not a good sign. I'll slow it down with Twin Blaze. Yeah, double Twin Blaze from Hucas is really busted, by the way. If, if we double up on a monitor, I think we just kill it by ourselves. It's kind of dumb. See, we're getting so many hits on it right now, and I'm barely doing anything. Disgusting. Twin Blaze is so fun, though. Right, please do not target me. Please let me actually enjoy Disco Brave Man. Please do not aim missiles at me. You can aim anything else, just don't missile me. Okay. GG. I, I got to have fun there. Thank you for cooperating, boss. I'll pick that up because it's usually money. Actually killed the sorcerer. Yeah, fast cycle with the hue cast. Let's go. He wasn't even looking at me. GG. So I just need somebody to go up there. I'll solo everything else. It'll be fine. Here, um, goodbye. Maybe. 
you. Wait for chat a little bit. This is my Vulcan. Freeze trap here. Trap here. No Lavis Cannon. So sad. Okay, we're just gonna go back and telepipe. Nice one in Parameter. So we're gonna get our double lineup shot. I'm gonna do my typical one to the right. The one that's behind. So we learned off stream, level 15 Shifta, there is one damage number I can roll and miss it. I know Shifta level 20 should cover us now. Originally it did not, so that ACP did matter. Trying to preemptive fire in case one of them was targetable like that. I'm sure, I'm making chat nervous with me walking around at 317 HP and refusing to heal. Like, listen, I'm committed to the mini game. I will win this mini game. I'm not getting hit. Gotta put pressure. I switched to Ellen Pay there. I could have killed like a fraction of a second sooner with Vulcan, but I think it's more important that I hit this boss here. That's like a solid thousand I just took off the boss, basically for free, on one of the more annoying stages. I'm gonna go revive Marco. That spinner really wanted me. I am surprised that actually reached me at all. It's kind of insane. Okay, so unfortunately two of our party members do not have shift anymore. So we are not going to do well with bursting this boss. So the two of them should probably meet up. I'd rather pull this cycle short. Like, we could probably do like 4k to it, but I don't think we can do that much more. Yeah, we did like 4.5. That's annoying. I'm gonna take it. Damn, knows the lore. But Marco... Almost killed it. Could be dead here. Here, um, goodbye. Yeah, I like LNK for its reach there. As much as I like Vice for that initial hit into this form, it could just feel kind of bad if it ends full screen. It's just a waste of time. So it's kind of like a coin flip, whether it's worth it. I think somebody just got it. <laughs> oh, man. Remember when Sir Frosty said they didn't get one on my stream? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> there we go. See? <laughs> it's real. Uh, I do find the, the funny comment of your lucky charm, says the bunny with the lucky rabbit's foot usually. 
I don't even remember this song in Valkyrie Profile. When does this one play? Here we go. So, so far today, that's two red rings for me. Well, people I'm playing with more accurately. Since I helped Chris get his around 1 p.m. <laughs> Somebody shouts Mega Donk. So we'll do one more. But welcome, Hellcleave. Hope you're doing well. I was going to say, Promethean dodged the red ring. <laughs> Doing well, just got off work. Nice, nice. We'll have Viridian host again, and I'll join. Perfect. Inventory a little bit. There we go. Get one more run in with Sir Frosty. I was gonna say, dare dare you go for the back-to-back -back red ring? Okay, that time I didn't get locked. Oh, untargetable. So sad. Yeah, I'll stay behind and deal with this room. team is here. I'm dead. Oh, thank you. Actually, that crit saved me. I'm not even gonna lie. That 1600 was real. <laughs> it's like, I'm like, uh, I'm too far forward. I don't think I get another special attack there. The crit into the power attack was something. This? My enemy's in front of me. Up a little bit. Nice. Thank you, chat, for activating that. I always just like hitting those traps. Like, do I really want to try to do the instant trap shoot with a handgun when I could just discover a man? Not really. music as we murder Sil Dragon. Poor Sil Dragon. Yeah, we'll be returning about an hour and a half. It won't be more PSO. It'll be back to Proto Cross. Or I forgot to get a character, and this is why I always double check the list when I'm done. There's so many missables in that game, it's kind of crazy. I'm gonna walk forward, then I'm gonna do this to reorient. Maybe this is correct? Where does this lead me? Pretty close. That was pretty close. That saved a ton of time. Yeah, you can see like the distance I am relative to everybody else. So that definitely works. I basically just have to see where my angle is. And then I hold bottom, like I hold down right when I'm in the dragon cutscene. End up near the door. So I guess it's not too dissimilar to uh, the worm boss in that sense, since I hold down right as well in order to quickly exit that area. Three swings, five kills. That's how it's meant to be. Get out of here. Time to slime dupe. I'm a little behind, but it's fine. We murdered some stuff on the way there. Pause trick. Center them a little bit. One, two, three. Ash one. I think at this point I can move just little baby steps forward to pull them towards the door. 
I think that's how I save some time. Yeah, because look how close I am to the door already. Yeah, that's a big time save, actually, for me to do that. So I lost maybe a second worth of time, which is, like, nothing. And that also lets people get in the room more easily, because I just pull them towards the door. Oh, did I not get invincibility again? Jeez, game, come on. Need a little bit of a slack there. to try mate. I do actually want that. Since I'm waiting for the team anyway, I might as well sell MK. Couple extra kills. Squeezing out that extra XP. Nice. You thought I'd be done with the two runs by now? I mean, is that even possible? It's only been like 60 minutes. <laughs> I'm like, we, we would have to be on some crazy world record pace, I think, to be done in under 20. Plus we have to like wait and re-lobby and stuff. No worries. We're almost done though. Well, welcome back Promethean. You missed the red ring. Distracted by the music pausing again. Music, please. Uh, Sir Frost. Sir Frost, you got it. Ooh, I'm not that close. So I'm gonna slowly twin blaze myself forward into the room. I guess it doesn't hurt to just throw them out. It just, it just gives the spread needle user more time. Plus, it does more damage than spread needle, so. Ultimately, as long as it slows down a little bit, we're good. Yeah, that's why I said, yeah. <laughs> Earlier I said Promethean dodge in that red ring. <laughs> the dodge was real. Wow, yep, see, there you go, nice and quick. Who do you want to see? Goodbye, boss. <laughs> Sir Frosty says mine now. <laughs> Damn. Oh, face me into the wall. That was interesting. Right, let's see. Oh, just a riff away. I don't care about that. I do want that try mate though. <laughs> Frosty's now banned from Pookie Runs. Oof. Do this. Darkbringer. Oh, thank you for the heal. And the level up. What a combo. True heal and the level is a real combo. Hmm. I could go for this even though I'm not first. It's gonna be real tight. Oh, I still got it. Alright, that's the first time I've ever done that without being the first person in the room. Happy I got that. I guess that's the power of few casts, when you can just kill in a combo. Like how Prabuki, it's like I'm almost out of cookies, has like literally 80 plus <laughs> on any given character. Mm -hmm. 
A very unlikely story. Thank you for the heal. That resto will help a little bit. Since I might not have to go a little later. Assuming I don't get hit by a stupid spinner. I may be more dumb. Ooh, that was a big cluster of them. Surprised. He did not heat seek on me. Ooh, that's annoying. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Bait out the heat seekers. Okay, got through the heat seeker. I wanna end on like the middle ish of the map. On. Give us something to target. There we go. Come on, we, get, we, we gotta get the perfect run. Don't fail the minigame. Nice. That extra rested means even if I get tagged by a spinner here, I shouldn't die. I'll still have to die mate if it does the spells, of course, but. Whatever. Actually, I can afford to do this lazier. I'm just gonna use the combat here. Okay, I'm almost facing the boss correctly. I gotta do a small adjustment. Nice, did a thousand. Got what I thought it would do. up slightly towards the center. Nice, nice. I'm gonna hold still and reach NHP so I don't have to worry about doing anything. Nice I'm out of kill range. Thank you, Regen HP. screen. <laughs> I can see the difference before and after this lore. It's actually kind of insane. Nice. That was fast. Okay, so GG either way. Final run of the stream. A nice, healthy, little over three hour bonus stream. I'm sure, YouTube will be happy. No way again? <laughs> I gotta be the force of the group. Damn. Well, there you go, Marco. What? Damn. Back to back red rings on stream. You saw it here. Not on one not on one player, but still. Nice. Welcome Crimson Tears. Hope you're doing well. That is a very good overall TTFs. Definitely was worth doing them. That means today I helped three people get it in four runs, I think. I only did four today. Crazy. Well, on the plus side, as we go into our break, what? how do we feel about the stream? Well, three, three red rings today, two on stream. We got some okay rares before then, wasn't too, too crazy. Mostly helped people level up quite a bit. So now Mar Marco's ult now has a red ring. That'll save some time out of things. 
I don't think we saw a V501 or a V101 or a V502 today. We got a handful of like okay discas between party members. But definitely it was a very backloaded uh, amount of drops. With that chat, it's time to say to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next part.